Hey there, how's it going? We have a new release from Tom Ford, just in time for the end of the Christmas season. This one's called Vanille Fatal. You may have seen a few of these pop up on eBay and get discussed in a few online forums. Uh, it's been kind of a regular thing these days that whenever Tom Ford releases something new, it, get leaks, it gets leaked to the internet, particularly to eBay, before it's actually announced and released. And it seems like this one was no different. Um, there were some 500 ml and 100 ml bottles that popped up on eBay about a month ago or so. A lot of people thought it was fake. Clearly it wasn't. Anytime you see that, just a little side note, anytime you see one of those things pop up on eBay, if it hasn't been released yet, Google the trademark for it, it's particularly with Tom Ford. They generally file trademarks for all of their private blend releases, unless it's some innocuous name that's not trademarkable. Like if they release something that was called, I don't know, like blue, you can't trademark that. So, Vanille Fatal, what the hell does it smell like? I'm a fan of it. It's, it's good. Let me read you the description from their website, which is something else. The description is impassioned, transfixing, defiant. Vanille Fatal is a force of nature personified, a beguiling tempest that takes over like a rush of blood to the head. The impossible becomes real. Too good to be true becomes true. Her or his unrelenting hold is fixed, refined, yet raw, polished, yet primal. The stirring spice of saffron and coriander opens the scent, infiltrating the senses with the gripping incense of myrrh and olibanum. Reverberating with the tobacco-like pull of roasted barley, the heart of vanille fatal is a perfect storm of roasted coffee absolute, narcissus and frangipani that seduces with grounded floral sea. Madagascan vanilla blends with rich mahogany, its smoky glamour made all the more exotic with the primal suede at the finish. Clearly a lot of uh, <laughs> inflated language and some nonsense in there. But it does tell you what the notes are. Up top it's going to be saffron and coriander with incense, myrrh, and olibanum. I think it's actually just myrrh and olibanum. That's a little confusing. Uh, roasted barley, coffee, narcissus, and frangipani, which is actually a, another form of a flower. Then vanilla, mahogany, and suede at the base. Obviously a very vanillic scent, as the name would imply, but there's a lot more to it. It's not just a very basic sugary vanilla, not something like you're going to find like a vanilla ice cream cone sort of thing, not sugary sweet. The first one that actually came to mind for me when I smelled this in the store was this one. Fucking fabulous. Now, hear me out. They don't smell the same. So, if that's not what I'm trying to say. They both kind of have that kind of sexy, risque feel to it that Tom Ford is kind of known for. There's something in this one. I don't know what it is. It might be the suede. It might be the mahogany or one of the florals that that takes this in a different direction from just a straightforward vanilla scent that adds what I'm trying to describe and not doing a very good job of it, of that sort of sexiness to it. It's very unisex. This easily could be worn by either a male or a female. It is not like tobacco vanille at all. It says in the, the ridiculous description as a tobacco-like pull of roasted barley. I don't know, but it does not smell anything like it, so. And it doesn't have that sappy sweetness that the TV has. Not here at all, so if, if you're trying to put those two together, don't, they don't smell the same. Um, and again, it doesn't smell like fucking fabulous. They don't smell similar. Um, but this one has that kind of sexiness to it, that risque feel, and I keep, going back to that and I can't describe it any better but I don't know I'm at, I'm at a loss for, uh, for a descriptor there 
but it's good. I like it. I'm usually not a big fan of overly vanillic scents, especially when they're pretty bland, when they're very straightforward. This one is not. There's a lot to it. As you would expect from a house like Tom Ford, which, love it or hate it, generally with these type of a little bit darker scents, the, uh, they put a little more work into it. This is not in line with his florally, watery, citrusy stuff that is usually pretty, pretty linear and boring. Uh, this one is not. As far as performance goes, I have not been able to wear this on skin. They just got the tester into the store, so I didn't put it on my skin, but with the uh, amount that it's radiating off of here, I think performance would be pretty good. I'm not going to go ahead and say that this is a bomb. It's not uh, It's not filling up my entire living room here just from this one little card, but I would be surprised if this did not perform well. So with that in mind, let's split it. They have it. So 10 ml is going to run you $29 shipped, and 25 milliliters will run you $66 shipped. Um, as with all of these Tom Fords, if you can't afford to do so, I would encourage you to take some more of the juice because it's more likely that these splits will fill if people take larger sizes. If everybody took a 10 ml, then I'd need 25, not 25, but 20 plus people to, uh, to fill the split, and that is far less likely to happen, unfortunately. So if you can afford it, consider taking a larger size. If you have any questions about the juice at all, please uh, let me know and I'd be happy to answer as best I can. I'm going to try and get some of this to get on my skin so I can answer questions a little better, but overall I like it. I think this is a good release. I think it fits in well with his line. He doesn't have another one that's really like this. It is not at all redundant to Tobacco Vinny. It's not the same as fucking Fabulous, but sort of a very, very distant cousin to it. They share similarities in genre. Um, it's not something he's done before, so I think this is a solid addition to the line. I'm a fan. Comment down below, shoot me an email, or uh, get in touch with me otherwise if you are interested in the split. All right, I'll see you soon.